Hey YouTube, this is City Prepping. In this video, we're gonna take a look at building what's called an EDC bag. EDC stands for Everyday Carry. These are items that you would wanna have on your person during a typical day, or other items for a particular emergency. What I'm gonna do is I'll go through and show what I built out here recently, and if any time during the video you have any feedback or thoughts on how I can improve it, or items that you typically carry, feel free to share that below. So let's jump in. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at what I carry typically every day on my person. I've got a KN95 air filter. Whenever I go into a setting where I know there's gonna be a lot of people, I'll have this. I've been wearing this for a while, but as we approach fall, I'll probably stop wearing these and just again, use more of the KN95 type of filter. California, we don't have a lot of options for what we can carry. This is actually a Smith & Wesson nine millimeter M&P shield. The number one thing I typically carry, I always feel weird going out of the house without it, is just a simple cell phone. Now I would recommend you throw in some cash probably in the back. That's just a real common approach that if uh, I go somewhere and I forget my you know, credit card or there's you know, issues with using it, I always have cash as a backup. Just a simple wallet, keep my credit cards and other items in here. Lip balm, as far as a everyday carry, this is just a simple Kershaw knife, nothing special about it. I've had this for years, does a job. Now, as far as this particular device, I actually found this on the Urban Prepper. Had a great YouTube video showing this. And uh, this allows you to actually, uh, you know, when you go somewhere, if you have to type in something at the ATM, and this hook right here, it allows you to open doors if you don't wanna really have to grab on the surfaces. As far as flashlights go, I've got two different ones that I typically carry. This one is from a company called, I believe, PowerTac. And they sent me this flashlight a while back. I've come to really like it. If I don't feel like carrying something really heavy and I just want a smaller flashlight, this is just a stream light I've had for years. So let's go ahead and jump into my actual bag. So jumping into the bag, my everyday carry is a VanQuest. This is a new line of bags that they start uh, offering. What I like about them is they look very kind of discreet. They don't really stand out. They don't have Molly. Just really simple, practical. Uh, I just, I'm a big fan of VanQuest. I really like their gear. I'll go ahead and kind of walk you through compartment by compartment, explain the reasoning. Why don't we go ahead and take a look actually at the top compartment here. This is more or less my first aid kind of area. If you carry a firearm, if you actually have a CCW, I highly recommend the items that we're gonna talk about in here. Uh, this is your Israeli bandage. These are really popular. The next item is a tourniquet. And again, if you're carrying a CCW, highly recommend that in the event you um, obviously either get shot or have someone else gets shot. Flashlight, I always like having a headlamp. These come in handy. And I'll show you a few examples of typical flashlights I carry, but I love having a headlamp. This one is my first aid kit. This is a very, very simple first aid kit. I mean, mostly bandages. And I also do have some wipes in here, some dude wipes if you wanna check those out. Within the kit itself, I've got some gloves, band-aids, other miscellaneous items. I've got a multi-tool. I've used this one for years. It's a Leatherman um, charge. It's a titanium. I've got different options here for uh, screwdrivers, stuff like that, that I find really useful. Next item, let's take a look. I've got some gloves. These are mechanics gloves. The reason I go with these is just if I've got to do something or do some basic work and I don't want to tear up my hands, it's always nice having those uh, nearby. I believe that's pretty much it for the front pocket. So let's now look at this top pocket. This top pocket is really set up for items that I need to get to quickly. That's why I obviously have it here on the top. Hand sanitizer. I've got my Olight flashlight. This is the, I believe, Baton Pro. Um, I love Olight's products. Just really simple, practical. Uh, again, I'll post a link if you want to check that out below. I've got the charger. The cool thing about Olight flashlights is they have the snap-on option there. You can just plug this in and charge it. Got a charger in case I need to plug this into a wall socket. I've got pens and pencils. I've got some Sharpies here. These are just practical in general if there's certain things you need to actually write on. The kit right here in this section is kind of my <laughs> pandemic kit more or less. I've got hand sanitizer, just antiseptic wet, uh, wipes here. I've got the kit right here. This is sent from a subscriber. I'll post a link below if you wanna check this out and actually give you a coupon code for the first 30 days after releasing this video. This also has alcohol wipes. It's got some mask, some spray hand sanitizer, and it's got some gloves. And again, this was created by a subscriber. Pretty cool. This section right here is what I kind of consider my survival section. I know some of these items people may say, wow, these are a little over the top for an EDC. Now, obviously a flashlight, I don't think there's really too much that's uh, too over the top about that. But things like paracord, I, n I never wear these bracelets anymore. This is just a paracord bracelet. It's got some saws inside that you can take out. Uh, I've got a reflecting light here. This is just kind of one of those emergency reflecting lights. 
I've got your basic rod that you can uh, you know, spark or rather scrape off and start fires with that. I've got some duct tape, a lot of practical uses for duct tape in an emergency situation or just in general. Now this one again is kind of one of those borderline things. Someone may say, why in the world would you carry that? I mean, imagine if you get stuck overnight somewhere or you're out and about and you have to get home and you, know, you just want something to keep you warm if you're stuck out and about. Uh, this one's an actual glow stick, you can break it. If you tie this with a paracord and swing it, you can actually create a signaling device. And of course, your necessary big lighter that everybody's gotta carry. And the last item in this particular apartment is a water key that a lot of urban environments, um, you'll see these on the side of buildings, have different types of um, you know, places where you can tie in with these and turn on the water. So that's really it for this top compartment in this. I'm gonna jump into the next and we'll look at that. When we open this up, I've got this pocket here on the top. And this is kind of more of my electronics section. This, and we'll run through these different items. I've got a battery backup charger for my cell phone. This is just a simple anchor. I believe it's called anchor battery charger. And I've got the different uh, cords in here to plug this both into my device and to actually charge it. I've got my laptop charger. I've got, and I keep this in a Ziploc bag because it's so small, I don't want it to get lost a simple USB drive. Now, some people may think this is overkill, but I do carry a ham radio in the event that I'm out and about and I need to communicate back home or to other people and cell phones may be down. I keep it in a Ziploc bag simply for water protection in the event this bag gets wet and just some simple uh, Bluetooth ear, uh, earbuds that I use whenever I just listen to music or don't want to be distracted. In here, you can see I believe I've got some trail mix. This is a big open compartment here. You can put a lot of things, different food, jackets, clothes, whatever. I'm not really utilizing this space right now, but if I ever need it for expanding out, I've got that option. Now this is 3A body armor right here. This is a simple insert. And take a look at this. This is a company that sent me this a few years ago. And this is again, 3A, and it's just a simple backpack insert. This side faces you. The last section that we'll take a look at is the uh, area in the very back. I'll unzip this here. This is where I keep my laptop stored. Obviously, you can add you know, whatever you want in here. The body armor, I was trying to get that in here, but it was maybe a quarter of an inch too tall. Um, but it's still a good area for storing additional items in here. Uh, what I think, some of the things I like, you can put water bottles in here. There's just so many features on this particular bag. And again, I'll post a link in the description section below. So that's my setup for 2020. What's your thoughts? What do you keep in your bag? What would you do different? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback in the comments section below. As always, stay safe out there.